A kink in a fire hose disoriented a Newark firefighter last summer as he was using the line to lead him to safety during that fatal blaze on the Grande Costa de Avorio at Port Newark. The testimony of Newark Fire Captain Oswald Robetta Tuesday afternoon added to the disturbing picture being painted for federal investigators who are leading a public hearing into the response of the cargo ship fire that took the lives of two firemen. That testimony continued today, and as Ted Goldberg reports, the fire hose error was just one of many critical issues during the response. What limiting factors do you think challenged this response? Um, I don't know. Newark Fire Chief Rufus Jackson was questioned for more than three hours today, explaining the division's protocol in wake of last summer's deadly fire at Port Newark. Jackson said there were a litany of issues in fighting this fire, but manpower wasn't one of them. I didn't say it was an issue. The man, the, the weather and the beating that this got the, the men and women, if they were there, uh, were taken from the heat. People were just exhausted um, and trying to do whatever they could to, to help. Chief Jackson testified that Newark's firefighters haven't received much training for shipboard fires. In the nine years since 2014, up until the time of the fire, um, none of your members have been to shipboard firefighting training? Um, no. According to Jackson, there are a lot of obstacles that can interfere with scheduling training, like the cost and the absence of too many firefighters all at once. He testified that the last in-person training was in 2014, nine years before the fire at Port Newark. There was supposed to have been another course in July, which was a walkthrough of, a, of, a, of an actual uh, ship. Um, and it was from what I got for, through correspondence from uh, uh, VC LaPenta that it was canceled because of labor issues they were having there. What if any standard operating procedures or policies does the New York Newark Fire Department have related to shipboard firefighting? Um, the, I, I looked, I, there is none. Do you feel like you are equipped to conduct shipboard operations? Uh, no. Captain Oswald Rebetto was fighting the flames along with Wayne Brooks Jr. and Augusto Akabu, the firefighters who died aboard the Grande Costa de Vorio. Captain Rebetto testified yesterday that the scene on board was hectic and disorganized. Was anybody at the door taking accountability? Firefighter Maresco was at the door. Okay. And how was the accountability being taken? I guess mentally I, or memory. But there wasn't like a, a tag system? No. My understanding is sometimes firefighters will use tags and a physical board. Uh, was that being used that day or was it just paper? They do have a uh, tax. They do have a... And they supposed to... I'm not sure. Chief Jackson repeated what other firefighters said earlier this week. Firefighters on board had trouble understanding the crew of the Italian cargo ship. And as confusion built up, so did the fire. It was a tough language barrier with them. The mat was, was big and it was, I don't know, it, the lighting was, was bad in there, first of all, on, on that first level. And the mat was just so involved. According to Jackson's testimony, the Newark Fire Division doesn't have a translator at the ready in case something like this happens. In fact, Jackson said up until last summer, the response for a cargo ship fire wasn't terribly different than a response to a building on fire. So when the call comes in, there's a shipboard fire in the Port of Newark. Right. Are the assets that are sent to the scene any different than the assets that are sent to a scene for a structure fire? Prior to this, I would say yes. But knowing now what I know, no. The hearing is scheduled to wrap up tomorrow, but if the Coast Guard wants to hear more about last summer's tragedy at Port Newark, they could call more witnesses on Friday. In Union, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.